AppSlyer provides you with a simple tool that enables you to test the integration of your app with our Android SDK. Using the Android SDK Integration Test App, you can track integration issues in your project and perform an automated click install test that shows a non-organic install on your dashboard both before and after publishing your app in the store. The first thing you must do is integrate AppSlyer's SDK into your app and install it on your device. Please refer to the AppSlyer Help Center for details on how to do this. Next, you must download the test app from the Google Play Store. The download link to this app can be found in AppSlyer's SDK integration guide. Once the app is downloaded, open it and the integration test window will then display. Click on the question mark to display your device's whitelist parameter values. The IMEI, Android ID, and Google Advertising ID are shown. Click Send Values to send these via email. Remember, these values are added to your account's whitelist page. Make sure you run the test app on a whitelisted device, otherwise you will not receive a non-organic install. For more information on whitelisting, please refer to the articles in the AppsFlyer Help Center. In the test window, click Start Testing to begin performing the test on your app. Once the test is complete and no integration errors were discovered, the following window is displayed, indicating that the test was successfully completed. If your test is unsuccessful, you will receive a warning that includes the errors that were found during the testing process. For example, if you try to run a test on an app that is not integrated correctly, the following error message is displayed. Now we want to view this, so in AppsFlyer's dashboard, log into your AppsFlyer account and search for the media source AppsFlyer test. You can now see a click and a non-organic install on your dashboard under the AppsFlyer test media source. We hope you found this video tutorial on testing AppsFlyer's Android SDK integration helpful.